Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we can discuss all about multi-step progress bar. So in the starting time, you are able to see the first one has been selected. When you click on the next, the second one, and also have a progress bar, third one, and fourth one. Once you complete the steps, you can't click the next button. You can also use previous button to go back one by one once you hit the number one you can't click the previous button so let me tell you how you can create that so i go to my code editor so i will i have a basic structure of the html and yeah i have a style.css script.js so i will use those three things to create this one project so i'm going to use container inside the container i will use multi step progress bar and then i'm going to use progress container mm, yeah i'm going to use progress and also i'm going to use the, so, the same class of progress same class of the id because i will use the style and i will use the id in js so let's create a circle circle times by four so on there i'm gonna use one two three and four that's it and i'll use vtns in the vtns i'll use vtn classes vtns vtn right get that and i'm gonna use previous Yes, and that will next. Also, I will assign the ID as well. Next. So this is our HTML structure. So open it in the live server. Yeah, here is our project. So go to style.css. In the style.css, the step number one, I'm going to create a variables, and I'll use a line border from hash de 3163 and line border empty 3 at 3 3 at 3 at right mm, 3 at 3 at yeah that's perfect um, yeah so let's reset the property so i'm going to use box sizing border box then zero padding zero and i'm going to select the body to display the content in the center of the page and just if i can center and height i 100 vh on family i use four pins sans serif and i'm going to use background color hash 73c98 then first i'm gonna save it and let's look at that everything in the center so i need to convert this one into our project so i need to select my container in the container i will use max width 550 pixel with 100 pixel and i'm gonna use background color hash y i'm gonna use padding top and bottom work i'm left and right shoot down and I will use overflow X means left right is hidden. So, so, and look at that. Right. Then I need to select my H2 tag, which is contains inside the container. So inside that I need to change a few things, uh, such as text align is center. And I'm going to use padding top two RAM, zero, one RAM is border and right is a uh, and i'm going to use font size to that color is hash like this one so and look at that also i will use the bottom radius as well on there five pixel other container then i need to select my progress container i'm going to use display flags justify content is center so and 
those are progress container data right and I'm gonna use margin top and volume true RAM left and right zero here is space let's select the progress so I'm gonna use background color for our line border empty and mm, just a minute i will use the position is absolute because i want to display that in the center so i'll just stop 50 percent left zero and transform translate x uh 50 percent no i will use y means stop and bottom and then i need to select the height so i'll use height for pixel and width Red 100% and I'm gonna use that index one transition also I'll use the transition 0.4s so yeah as you can see this is line but don't worry we will manage it right so how you can manage it so you need to select the progress but you need to select the progress container and say that you need to select the column column before and i'm going to use content is now background color i will ddd our position is absolute top is 50 percent left is zero transform translate x not x y 50% height is 4 pixel uh, width is 100% and the index is 1 so just a minute and just a minute I need to use the width of the zero so as you can see this is line but we need to work on the numbers then you will understand everything right so let's select the circle in the circle i will use in background color is ddd height is 30 pixel width is 30 pixel and we use display for likes align it in center just if i on the center and yeah i'll use what already is 50 percent and also I'm going to use the next one transition and for us 0.4 so sir look at that those are buttons we need to manage it inside our page right so circle progress and I need to check the code where is a mistake so progress container progress mm, progress background position absolute left zero transform y negative 50 percent four pixel and mm, just a minute i need to yeah i need to select that use position relative because i use the position absolute inside pseudo selector so everything is up here as a as center right and finally i need to uh, use the space between on there to make the space of each yeah as you can see everything is perfect on there so when you will use comment out that then you will get this one result, right and you will use the width 100 percent then you will get the color like that right so in in the starting time you need to use the default zero and use it as a dummy progress bar right perfect and then i need to select my another things is i need to select the circle and active class 
when we will use the JavaScript, then I will change few things. Like I'm gonna use border color as y, like this one, and I'm gonna use color is white, and also I will use background color hash de like this one. So sir, and I need to assign the class, and there is actor. Then you will get the result like this one, right? So I need to use the BTNs because I display flags margin 3 run 0 1 0 so and have a space top and bottom then I am going to use justify content space between to make a space of each button then I need to select only BTN and I'm going to use background color is wow. line border color and I will use the fill and I will use color is white and color is white border is zero cursor pointer pointer font family I will inherit now padding of this 8 puzzle and 60 pixel font size I will use one ram water radius I will use 4 pixel so save and look at that right and I need to use btn colon actor I'm gonna use transform transform translate not I'm gonna use scale no, 0 0.98 yet. Also, I need to select the BTN column focus. I need to remove the outline when I click on the button. The last thing I need to select the BTN disabled. I will assign this one attribute inside my page, but I need to use background color wall. I can put it and I'm going to use cursor not allowed. When I will assign the attribute on this disabled. As you can see I can't click on that right so let's move on the CSS to JS so I need to get the data and assign the data inside our variables so let's do that so I'm going to create a variable const I'm going to use progress element document get element of ID and the ID is like progress like this one and then I need to get the progress previous element so I need to select my previous button and also I need to get it to use next and this will next the last thing you need to get const circles in the circles I need to get document that query select all and I need to get the circle class because inside that have a full data so I need to create a variable and use current actor and assign the value of the default as one then when I will use the next button then I need to increment one value inside this one right so let's do that add MLS now and click it by the function I'm gonna use first of all I need to use a current actor and plus plus then uh, store it inside the console so let's look at that what happened when I click on the two in the starting time value of the current actor is one three four right and five six and so on so far right but we need to fix that when it will hit more than four the next one is i also use this is a current slide and inside it i'm going to use circles dot length so save and when i click on that 
so that this is a active slide and this is a circle circle progress land when I click on that when I one more time I click on that so this is a progress step and this is a slide but I, I don't know why I okay here's a mistake so I need to use dot sign on there because here's mistake so this is the active slide number and this is the length of the complete progress bar right so I need to assign this one data inside there when it will hit this one complete progress bar steps then it will close or it will disable this one button so we need to use the logic on there is if our current active slide is greater than circle dot land then come into the f body inside that i need to create a i need to target my different variable and i need to assign the length of the circle right this is our next button but also i will create a function update on let her this time i'm gonna yes and we're gonna use same tactics in in previous button so i'll target previous but inside that i need to use decrement and the logic on there is the current slide is negative or less than one then i need to assign the default value of the current slide right so this is our logic of the previous and next button but the important thing on there is we need to work on the update function to user will click on the next button to display the next one uh, second one input field second one um, uh, number then third one number fourth one and so on so on. so i need to use logic on there is function update so first of all i need to target my circles like this one and use for each loop and inside that i need to pass two parameter first is help us to get the data means get the complete html data so i'm going to use that is circle the next one is i'm going to add the index right hmm, okay so yeah i need to use add a sign on there so let's look at that what happened i use cycles comma index Oh, what happened on there, guys? Why is it Sorry for this is my mistake. Just a minute okay guys so i have uh, recreated this one so this is function name and this is circle for each inside that i'm going to passing two parameters first one is a circle and the second one is index number so let's look at that what happened when i use first circle and index what you will get when user will click on the next npc button so when i click on the next so you have received four elements the first progress bar, second, third, and fourth. And also, you have received the index number. This is the index 0, 1, 2, and 3, right? So, those index is coming from there, and the HTML document or HTML tag is coming from the circle, right? So, inside that, I need to use the if condition, and I'm going to use index less than our current slide, right? So this is the index number, this is the current slide or current active slide like there in there. As less than, then I need to use, I need to target the circle, this parameter, and inside that I need to use class let's start active. Active, right? Otherwise I need to use class list dot remove. 
All right, so first I need to save it and I need to open the element and in the starting time you are able to see this the default active class but when I click on that this is a second one I have an active class third one and when I click on the PS but this time you can't see the calculable button but when you will click on the previous button then you can't see the uh, this one uh, active class inside there so what I need to do on there I need to select all of the active classes on there so get all of active classes so I need to create accounts active document that query selector all all and which class the active class right so let's look at that you you know all about the how you can get the active class i don't need to add the console.log to display the data right but the important thing on there is I need to target console.log and I need to target the active.length right comma and I need to target my circle.length because I need to display the uh, progress bar when user will click on the next button right so first we're gonna save it and open the console click on that can see the undefined one uh, okay so this is circle but we need to select the circles click on that so this is a in a minute this is a active length and this is a circle length right so you have to see the one and four four is a length and one is the active of the element right I also am mentioned that in the data the actor tag the cycle the cycle I just use that as a, right so the active tag is one the circle is four the active tag is two the circle is four right but why I am able to see okay so we need to add the logic on there the logic is very simple I need to target my progress element and I'm going to use this style.width and inside that I need to use parenthesis I need to target my active dot length right then I need to use divide by circle dot length right and then I'm going to use times by 100 plus pixel so first we're gonna save it and let's look at that what happened when i click on that right i am able to see the second one is active third one is active fourth one is active cool but the thing is i can't see the progress bar right now so i need to check the uh, problem on there so the circle is default progress is default to zero but when I will use 100% yeah it's up here but I use the and it's up here right but we need to also work on the buttons to display and remove that active class but inside there have a few things I need to add it as a so I need to use negative one value inside that divide by and negative one and this is a pixel I need to use percentage sign so I think it should be display uh, the button is up here but I can't see the progress bar right now so progress actors dot land okay here's a mistake guys so I need to target my circles this is a circle parameter but I need to target my circles like the data is coming from there so I need to target that so it should be display the progress bar right now as you can see guys right cool 
but I need to change the color of the progress bar. Mm, I need to use fill on there. So, and let's look at that one more time. Click on that, click on that, click on. Once it will hit the four number, then I will stop it, right? So, by the way, this is my only. I'm gonna remove it. So, this is logic active length negative by one divide by your circles length negative by one and use times by 100 plus your percentage. And when you will use pixel, you will get different result, right? As you can see. Right, and also I've used the negative one on there and negative one on there, you will get another result. So, so let's look at that as you can see. But I also I will use the percentage on there, so and as you can see, it will hit out of the two, it will hit out of the three, right? So I need to use the negative sign on there and negative sign on there then i so i need to use percentage so and you'll get the same result right right once you hit the number four then i need to stop the button so let's do that i'm gonna use the if current slide or current actor triple equal to is one then come into the if body in the if body I need to select my previous element that disabled disabled equal to true first we're gonna save it and when you click on that okay I can see the current active is triple equal to one disabled disabled previous element and I will also use another condition also if I'm going to use the current active slide as triple equal to circle dot length then come into the F body then I come into the else body in the else F body I'm going to target the next element dot disabled to and the last one I need to target my previous element dot disabled equal to false and the next element that disabled by the way this is a attribute so i'll use false so save and look at that yeah it's working right now as you can see when you hit it but i can't see right but i can't see to disable the last one uh, next element disabled to you and previous element disabled is to you okay i need to target circles so dot length yeah it's working right now as you can see i'm able to see my background has been changed of the last one button and i can't click on that go back right so this is our complete simple project multi-step progress bar using html css and also javascript so thank you very much for watching have a nice day